All right, so in this video, we're going to do some examples of determining the shape and uh, how these problems are, are gonna work and how the problems are gonna work on the exam. For the most part is you're gonna be given a molecule, right, a formula. And from that, I'm asking you, what's the bond angle? What's the uh, geometry? And when I say geometry, that's the steric geometry. Right, and then what's the molecular shape? Okay, so let's do this one, xenon tetroxide, right? Knowing our naming rules for uh, covalent compounds, we have two non-metals there. So what do we do first? Well, we're gonna have to come up with the Lewis structure. And xenon tetroxide, first step to coming up with the Lewis structure, is figure out how many valence electrons. Xenon's a noble gas, has eight valence electrons. Oxygen is in row, group six, a chalcogen. So now I have six valence electrons, there's four of them. Eight plus six times four is uh, 32 valence electrons. And we're going to um, have a central atom and our central atom is gonna be xenon, okay? And we're gonna put these oxygen atoms around the edge. And we're going to, to uh, try to satisfy the octet rule here, right? And so uh, what happens if we do that? Well, we can put uh, we can put lone pairs uh, on the oxygen atoms, right? And if we do that, uh, what do we see? Well, we have two, four, six, eight. Octet rule satisfied for oxygen. All of these oxygens are the same. They're satisfying the octet rule. And so uh, there's eight electrons, valence electrons for each oxygen. There's four of them. So we have 32 valence electrons. That matches uh, what we wanted, right? So now we have to figure out these other questions that we asked. Um, this is the Lewis, correct Lewis structure, but we need the bond angle geometry and the shape. So what's our steric number? Our steric number is simply the number of bonding sites uh, plus the number of lone pairs around the central atoms. And so we have zero lone pairs on the central atom, but we have Four bonding sites, bonding sites. So we add those up and we're gonna get four equals our steric number. And from that, uh, then we can know what our steric geometry is. And that's gonna be tetrahedral. Uh, you need to know this, right? That if you have four objects and you try to put them in three dimensional space as far as part as possible, they will make a tetrahedron. Uh, and from that, you can then get the molecular shape. And since there's no lone pairs here, the molecular shape is the same as the steric geometry. So the molecular shape is also tetrahedral. And lastly, we have the bond angle. And the bond angle for an idealized tetrahedron, when there's no lone pairs around the central atom, will be exactly equal to 190.5 degrees. Okay? So that's the first uh, practice problem. Let's keep going here. Next one is going to be N2O. And I'll just tell you that and I would have told you for this problem that nitrogen uh, is on the central is one of the central atoms, okay, not oxygen. Nitrogen, that's what you'd expect because nitrogen is more electric, electropositive. Um, so anyway, valence electrons. Nitrogen has five plus six for the oxygen. That takes you to 16 valence electrons, okay? And I told you just now that uh, one of the nitrogens is in the center. So we're going to have a skeleton like that, right? We have 16 valence electrons. We only have four accounted for so far. And so let's go ahead and just equally distribute them. So that brings me up to 10 valence electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 12, 
14, 16. That's good with valence electrons, but octet rule is not satisfied. Center atom is 2, 4, 6, 8, but both the terminal atoms are not 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6. So I'm going to have to uh, change my uh, Lewis structure here such that uh, this satisfies the uh, octet rule. Okay. So I'm going to erase that lone pair and put it like that. Now I have two, four, six, eight. I'm good there. I'm good on the central atom here, but I'm not good here. I still have two, four, six. So I'm going to erase those right there. And uh, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. I need to take from the central atom because otherwise I won't have, uh, I'll have an expanded octet on nitrogen. We can't have expanded octet on nitrogen. So we're going to do that. So let's check everything. We have an octet uh, here. Two, four, six, eight on the central atom. Two, four, six, eight on the terminal nitrogen. Two, four, six, eight on the terminal oxygen. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're good with our Lewis structure. And uh, our geometry, steric geometry, is going to be linear. Why is that? Well, we have a steric number of two right we have one bonding site two bonding sites steric number two no lone pairs okay our shape there's no lone pairs again so shape is the same as the geometry no lone pairs on the central atom shape is going to be linear and bond angle for uh any any line is going to be exactly 180 degrees All right, so let's uh, stop this video here and we'll do one more example.